over the holiday break, I've been poking around online looking at some pictures of CNC modifications and projects. And I saw some wood burning images that were really cool. And a few folks have mounted wood burning tools to their CNCs. So I thought I'd give, give it a try and do my own take on it. So I've been tinkering around with this a little bit. I've made a few different versions of this. The first one was just mounting this directly to the Z box without any spring action. And as long as you're really close with the depth settings, that would work okay if your wood piece is flat and you keep it really, really, really tight. So this was wood burned without any spring action. This one was the first one I did and that was a little bit too deep. And you can see it's kind of rough because the tool was, was moving around. So a spring action mechanism is really the best way to go. So the second version of this is pretty simple. It, it is what you see. The design here is very similar to the Z-Box here. And I had a bunch of these leftover V-Groove bearings. So this has some nice spring action here. Doesn't need to move up very much at all. And for our whole spring action, we just have some rubber bands at the top. This was 3D printed. I drew this up in Tinkercad. And this particular 60 watt wood burning tool is tapered. So this fits real tightly around there and holds it secure. The problem with using 3D printed PLA is it's not real good with heat transfer and it can get a little bit soft. So chances are I'll design something else. This doesn't get really hot, but it does get a little bit warm. These first W's were used when I had the tool mounted straight to the box without any kind of spring action. And it was just pushing down way too deep. This first part here was when I had it going too deep as well and was pushing too hard on those rubber bands. And then finally, when you get it set in, you can do some really neat results on this. And it looks kind of laser engraved. Eventually, I'll probably put a laser head on this. Um, a little leery of that. Lasers are cool, but they scare me a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm playing around with this wood burning tool and getting some neat results. <laughs> And a couple extra designs I did in Inkscape real fast. These were just screen snips and brought into Inkscape and I did a bitmap trace, converted it to an SVG, and then for the toolpaths I used Vectric Cut 2D, but there are a lot of free options as well. JS Cut is one choice, Carbide 3D is another good choice, and those are free. So the results are pretty good. You can kind of fudge or fake a little bit of laser engraving with this. As far as the iron goes, or the wood burner tool, this was $47 bought on Amazon. And it's a 60 watt unit uh, with an adjustable setting dial on the front. I would imagine that the cheaper $30 ones, $20 ones that are 20 and 30 watts would be just, a, just as good. This one has a range up to about 840 degrees. And for these, I burn these at about 750 degrees. And the results are pretty cool. As far as the tips go, this kit came with a bunch of different size tips. This one is just the first one that I put on there to play with. There are a few that are a little more precise and some that are rounded and squared off for different burns. But so far so good. Pretty easy thing to build. Mostly made with scrap. And the results are pretty neat. Thanks very much for taking a look.